iOS 18.2 is finally out and this is a massive update as it brings all the Apple intelligence or AI tools long promised by Apple for your device. I'm going to talk about six major new features surrounding Apple intelligence. Before we start, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me grow. So what's new in iOS 18.2? The first thing that you will notice is a brand new icon called Image Playground. Click on that icon and follow the on-screen setup guide. It'll just take you a minute or so. Once you're in the app, this is what you will see. It will ask you to describe an image or add a suggestion from the list. So if I click on my photo and select some other options like uh, maybe robot or show more, adventure, summer, it will use AI to generate an image with all the options that I've selected. So these are a few of the images that it has generated. Keep in mind, this will only generate images that are in an animation or illustration style. It will not generate realistic images. If you click on the plus icon, you can also take an image or choose a photo from your gallery. You can also change the style of design from here. Like this is an animation. If I click on illustration, it will change it into an illustration format, sort of like a comic book. Feel. You can also describe what you want. So for example, I have typed a red ant standing on two feet wearing a space suit. And if I click on send, it's going to start creating creating an image and there you go that's what it's come up with you get four or five options and you can select the one by clicking on done and then you can share it from here wherever you want this is absolutely amazing especially for content creators because now we're going to get unlimited animation images or illustration images and we can use it wherever we want the next major feature is genmoji which is also now live and this is how you use it. When you're in a message and you open the emoji keyboard, you will see a small icon on the right. Tap on it and now you can describe exactly what you want. So if I type me wearing a space suit. Also when I type me, it recognizes that I'm talking about myself. So I don't need to enter my name. So there you can see it's selected me as a person and it's generated for three or four options. And now I can just click on add and add this emoji to the conversation. This is super cool and it will really take texting to a whole new level. The next major feature is chat GPT, which is now fully integrated. This is something that I have been waiting for a long time and it's been integrated beautifully. When you go to settings and click on Apple intelligence and Siri, when you scroll down, you'll see chat GPT over here under extensions. Click on that. At first, it'll give you an option to sign in. You don't really need a chat GPT account for this to work, but I have logged in with my ID just to keep a record of all my searches. To use chat GPT, you need to open up writing tools. So for example, if I'm in notes and I click on writing tools, scroll down, you'll see a compose button over here. Tap on that. Here you can ask chat GPT to write anything for you. For example, write me a short invite for my son's first birthday and I click on send. This is what has come up. And now you can also click on refine with chat GPT. So if I type make it funny, click send. So this is the result that has come up and it's used chat GPT to do it. Another example is if I type in find me five recipes that I can use to cook tomatoes and basil. And there you can see it's given me a couple of options all from chat GPT. This is fantastic. Next, chat GPT has also been integrated into Siri and this is also absolutely fantastic. I've been on iOS 18.2 beta for a long time and and I've been using this feature a lot. You can just ask Siri for something and it'll give you the option to search that with ChatGPT. So for example, find me five recipes that I can use to cook tomato and basil. It's asking me to use ChatGPT to generate this answer for me. Once I click on use ChatGPT, it says working with ChatGPT and then it'll give me an answer for my query. And there you go, that's the entire answer and it also says ChatGPT at the bottom. If you don't want Siri to confirm ChatGPT requests, you can go back into settings, Apple intelligence chat GPT and turn this option off from here so now if I say give me five recipes that use tomato and basil see it says working with chat GPT straight away it didn't ask me for the prompt and there's my answer this is fantastic the next new feature is image wand if you go to notes app and click on the pen icon which is right over here you'll see that there's a wand tool over here you can also use this by just selecting the text and going to the very end and here it says add to playground when you do that it'll start searching whatever text is there and it'll generate an image out of that there you see a big red bus in london so it's now generating a couple of images for me you can swipe to choose and whatever you like just click on that so there you see it gets added to your notes you can also do this in another way by selecting the wand tool and just draw a circle so now it's going to identify the text in the 
note and it'll generate an image for me. The next use of this wand is also if you sketch something. Imagine this on an iPad and you're using the pen to sketch something. So I have sketched a house over here. I know I am a great artist as you can see. So now I use the image wand and just circle the sketch that I have made and you can see it starts searching and there you go it's given me a couple of options. This particular option is glitchy sometimes because it may ask you to input. When I circled my sketch I had to type in a house. Apple is saying that this will be corrected in a future update so I'm hoping that it will work soon. The image wand feature is fantastic. You can imagine your notes being elevated to a whole new level as now you can literally add an image while you're typing something and that will just illustrate whatever you're wanting to put across in a much better way. The last feature is of course an update to find my network. So if you have lost your luggage and you luckily have an air tag in it, you can now share the location with an airline or a trusted person and they will be able to track it on a map. It says that right over here, get help finding a lost item by sharing its location with an airline or trusted person. They will be able to see the location of your item on a map. This isn't a major update so to speak, but of course it's a fantastic new update because I know a lot of people who have lost their luggage and this will definitely help them find their luggage faster. I'm also going to mention a bonus feature but I can't demonstrate that because I don't have my iPhone 16 Pro Max with me right now. So this feature is only for the 16 Pro Maxes. So if you long press on the camera button that's available on the iPhone 16 models, it'll bring up visual intelligence. It'll open up your camera and if you point and shoot at any object that is in front of you, you'll be able to look it up on the internet and you can even buy it. It's something like Google Lens but with a touch of Apple in it. So there you have it guys these are the major features of ios 18.2 of course there are a lot more new features and i'll be posting about it soon on my channel so stay tuned please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel it will really help me grow see you in the next one